friends, it's Hannah Eve and you're watching Eve Believe Beauty. Okay, so before I start my video, I did want to have like a little chat with you guys. <laughs> On my nail polish obsession tag, I was a total, I had a total ditzy moment and I completely forgot to edit some stuff out of my video. So I just wanted to get on here really quick. I know I've responded to most or all of the comments in that video, but I wasn't crying in that video. <laughs> I wasn't sad. Sometimes when I'm filming, I seriously just kind of like go blank and I like stare off in the distance and it's really strange and so if I looked sad I promise I'm not I'm just fine and I really apologize for the editing error in that I just yeah oh there's a cat um <laughs> I just I total had a ditzy moment so I apologize for that and I hope you guys weren't too worried about me so yeah let it let's talk about what today's video is about which um, in my nail polish obsession tag video, um, I mentioned a nail polish that I was wearing. I actually mentioned it twice because I'm a ditz and didn't edit things out. <laughs> but um, I was talking about that nail polish and that I got it from a nail polish subscription service. And finally, I am here to talk to you guys about it. I know you guys have been waiting for me to talk about this box for forever. So I'm finally gonna talk to you guys about it. That's Molly. She's one of my two cats. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi, baby? Hi! Hi! Okay. She doesn't care. She's kind of a diva. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to talk about that subscription service today. And yeah, I'm... I have mixed feelings. When I first got it, I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited. And then, I don't know, I've got a little bit of mixed feelings for you, so yeah. Let's just get into it, guys. <laughs> okay, so the subscription service that I'm talking about is called The Monthly Nail. Now, this is like a brand new subscription service. It's only a couple months old, I believe. So I don't know exactly how old the company is, but when I looked on their Facebook page, um, which was a while back, but when I looked on their Facebook page, it was like only a couple posts back when it, they had mentioned their grand opening and everything. So it's really not that old. It's like maybe a couple months old. So with that being said, I went into it being very optimistic, but also a teensy bit hesitant. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my other like nail polish subscription box videos. I have had the worst luck with subscription boxes, especially the ones that are like, not as mainstream like the newer ones the smaller business ones which i'm all about supporting small business like that's why i really want to buy from these companies well that's not the only reason but i always end up having a bad experience with these smaller businesses and i mean not to be biased or anything or not to be i don't know if bias is the right word but i just like i don't know i'm a little bit hesitant about giving my credit card information to companies like that just because I've had so many mess up experiences. Now, I really like this box, but I did have mess ups. And I don't know if it's because it's a small business and they're still working things out or because it's a new business. But um, yeah, I had a couple mess ups. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the company because it's like brand new kind of thing. This is their website. I am going to show you on my laptop. That's kind of what it looks like in case you guys were wondering. It is www.themonthlynail.com. I will have everything linked down below as always. Okay, I'm just going to tell you guys kind of what it is. <laughs> it is a monthly nail polish subscription service where you can get OPIs or SEs or their brand of um, indie nail polish, which is called Eugene Malibu. Really cool name. I really like that name for some reason. Um, so you can get either... Um, any of those three brands in your box depending on which level subscription you choose. There are three levels of subscription. So like I said, there are three levels of your subscription service. Um, there's the basic, which is $15.99 a month. Sorry, I'm looking over at the computer. And that has two, you can get two nail polishes in that. And they, it looks like it's, it's two of their brand nail polishes. Um, and you can customize them if you want to, which is really, really cool. I'm going to talk about that later. And then there is the premium, which that's the first one that I signed up with. I got one month premium and then one month for the th next 
one up. <laughs> um, but premium is $19.99 a month. You get three nail polishes. You can customize your own indie or you can get OPI or SE or you can get one of their other indies. Um, and then there's the luxury, which is $23.99 a month. You get four nail polishes. You can do the customize polish. You can get their brand of indie. Um, or you can get OPI or SE. And I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but from my experience, I was kind of able to get any combination of those that I wanted in my box. So if I wanted all OPIs, then I could do that. Or if I wanted all customized indies, I could do that. Um, that might change because like I said, they're really, really new and I'm still trying to figure out the website. They're definitely, it's definitely a more laid out and more helpful website than like the Inzuri box. That was just awful. I will link that video down below as well. That was just, that blows my mind how horrible that company is. But anyways, um, another good thing about this particular box is that you can do all your stuff online and you can pause your subscription or cancel your subscription anytime you want super easy with one click of a button like that's really nice because like for other boxes for the Inzuri box for um I believe it was I think the cult cosmetics box you had to email them and then for julep you have to like call like a call center and it's like they try and keep you on so like if you try and cancel they'll be like did you know you could do this did you know that you could pause your subscription did you know you could skip months do you know like they just yeah but that's another story <laughs> what this box it's super easy if you want to pause your subscription or cancel your sus subscription at any time super easy you just go into your account and click one button so I really like it for that reason because that's really helpful to have especially when you're a little bit weary about uh a box you can be like okay actually no I'm scared cancel you know what I mean that's yeah it's one of the things I really like about it so like I said before you can get OPIs or SEs those are the only two mainstream brands I have on their site right now I'm not sure if they're thinking about expanding um, but yeah you can get those two brands and you can also get their brand of indie nail polish which I have several of them and I really as a as a whole so far of all the polishes that I've tried from their brand I really like their indie nail polish brand it's a really it's a pretty awesome brand the only thing I would say about it is that I would like a little bit more color range I seem to see a lot of blues and purples in her collections and just to branch out a little bit, a yellow, a green, something like that, you know what I mean? Um, but other than that, I just think that they're awesome. So I'm going to talk about how you can customize nail polishes a little bit. Now, when you go on there and you subscribe to one of the boxes, you kind of, it takes you through step by step, and it's like you go, say you do the luxury one where you do four nail polishes, you, for the, they'll take you through one by one, and you can be like, okay, for the first nail polish, I want this OPI, and you write in the name of the OPI that you want, because they have, um, I, I don't know if I mentioned, they have a shop where you can buy all these things as well separately outside of the subscription service, um, but they post, like, they have the newest OPI collections and newest SE collections, they stay pretty up to date, and they also have their own seasonal collections as well but you go through like one by one and like say you want one OPI you put the name there you want one of their already made um, indie polishes you put the name there and then for the third one say you want to do your own custom one and so you go in there and you you click custom something rather it says like custom make your own nail polish so if you decide to do a custom nail polish a custom indie or whatever it kind of takes you through like the different I guess it's step by step it's like what color base do you want and do you want that base to be a jelly base or a cream base um, or a shimmer base or whatever and then it goes in you know like what glitters do you want um, do you want them to be like big like mixed up crazy glitters or do you want like just some small glitters or like a uh, you know a little bit of both or whatever <laughs> and so they they kind of like take you through all the options like that and I did end up customizing one of my nail polishes and it was a lot of fun so I think that that's all that I have to say about them right now I'm gonna show you I have two months worth of boxes to show you guys and I'm gonna go through like 
polish by polish and talk about everything. I did have a couple issues. They were they're kind of minor issues, but we'll we'll talk about it. But yeah, if you if I forgot to mention anything, um, or if you have any questions or anything, again, leave that down below, and I will also have everything linked so that hopefully you can navigate it all yourself as well. So yeah, let's just jump right into the two months of boxes that I got. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through the first box that I got. I believe it was April's box, March's box. I don't know, but um, I guess it doesn't really matter because you pick your own colors anyway. So I could have gotten this in January or June or whatever. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's just jump right into what I got. So I that first month that I did, I did the premium box, which is the three nail polishes. So I chose one OPI and then I did two um, Eugene Malibu ones. So the first one that I got in my box is from her spring or summer collection. I can't remember which collection it is, but it's called Sunbloom. I will insert pictures and swatches of all of these, but it's really, really beautiful. It's like a blue jelly base with a shimmer running through it and then like green smaller green glitters in there as well it's really really beautiful it'll probably take between two to three coats to get opaque on its own but it could be really nice for layering or something it's kind of like one of those that's like it's almost like a glitter jelly sandwich by itself so I really really like this one it's beautiful and I'm really glad that I picked it and then um, I also wanted from the OPI Spotlight and Glitter collection, I wanted the one that was like a dupe for um, Rainbow Connection because I never got that one and I always regretted not getting that one. Um, so it's called uh, Chasing Rainbows, I believe. And so I ordered that one, but when I got my box, I got the wrong OPI. I got this one right here. I got, this is Baby Please Come Home, which is a liquid sand. It's pretty, it's like a grayish, like pinkish purple color I think um, and it's okay but it's not what I wanted so I did end up emailing the company and she was super nice about it she was like um, oh I'm sorry that happened I will send out the right one right away and you don't have to return anything so I was like should I return this and then get the other one in return she's like no you can keep it so I was like cool so then I got an extra OPI and then I did it was like a week or so later I got the one that I actually wanted and this is Chasing Rainbows and you guys have probably seen this or at least a dupe of this it's pretty much just like a crazy mixed glitter like rainbow it's like got some silver some pink some yellow see a little bit of blue some green and they're like they're all hex glitters but it's like in two or three different sizes but yeah it's supposed to be a dupe for um rainbow connection from the muppets collection so yeah but i like it it's okay it's not exactly what i thought that it would be so but that's yeah that's not a reflection on the box it's just this isn't everything that I was hoping it was going to be, but whatever. Um, and then the last one that I decided to put in my box was a custom color. This is the one that I showed you guys in that um, nail polish obsession tag. And this is from the brand Eugene Malibu, but it is my custom creation. So I decided to do a white Crelly base and then I chose to do like every color glitter in like a bunch of different sizes. And then I, I think I specified... You, I, th I think you might be able to specify whether they're matte glitters or metallic glitters, but I kind of put both in there. Um, and I called it birthday cake. As you can see there, she put my name on there for, well not my name, but the name that I chose for it on there. Now, one thing that I am a little confused about, and I still, I haven't asked her about it yet, I should have asked her, but when you create a custom color, I'm not sure if you can get if it goes into their permanent collection, like other people can buy other people's custom creations. Because in their website, there is a little section where it says custom creations, and they have like four or five in there, but they haven't, I think they haven't updated it in a while. So maybe she only picks a couple to put in there or something. Like every once in a while she picks a custom color to go in there. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think every single custom color will end up going in there, but maybe, I'm not sure. So it mine isn't in there right now, but maybe one that I do will be in the future, or maybe this one will be in there in the future. Maybe she's just a little behind, but yeah. 
One thing I will say about the packaging, as you can see, I already opened it up and everything, but it was wrapped in pink tissue paper and then it had like this cute little purple bow. It was very cute packaging, but I was, when I opened it, all that was protecting the nail polishes was this and it was kind of loosely wrapped. So there is a possibility, now my, none of my bottles were broken, but there is a possibility that if the packaging is like, continues to be like this, that maybe there will be a broken bottle at some point because they kind of like they're all sitting in there together kind of you know and it's like I could imagine during shipping they might clank together and they might break maybe I don't know none of mine broke but I'm just saying you know if you're um, the monthly nail people if you're watching you know maybe a little bit more packing material or something might make my might ease my mind a little bit about that kind of stuff but I don't know that's just me it's not like a deal breaker so if they continue to package it like this it's not like I'm gonna like unsubscribe or something but yeah I just wanted to mention that mention that for you guys oh yeah and then it also came with this little card I'm sorry for the little scuffs on it I did some swatches on it and I got polish on it but um it has like the little monthly nail logo on there and then it just says thank you for subscribing and then it has their Instagram Twitter and Facebook on there so um yeah, I'll, I'll probably link those down below for you guys, at least the Facebook page, because I know that that was kind of helpful for me. Okay, and then the next month, um, there was an issue with their database. Like, they okay, so they're redesigning their website right now. They're still kind of going through some redesign things. Like, so on one of the pages, there's supposed to be a title there, but it just says title. So there's some little glitches still in the system, but it's not so bad that, like, it's messing too many things up. But anyways, in the process of them like changing their website, they lost like their entire database of information, like everybody's subscription information, everything. So that was a problem. So they did send an email saying like you re up, re put in your um, picks for that month or whatever. And I didn't see that email until it was too late. So I didn't get a chance to go in there and put in what I wanted for my April box or May box. I don't know anymore. It's not May box because, yeah, it's not the May box. So the April box. So I didn't get a chance to go back in there and put in my picks for it. Um, and because of the issue that they had with their data database crashing or whatever, um, I did get my box a little bit later that month, but it didn't bother me too much. But when I got my box, since I didn't pick my things, I wasn't sure what I was going to get. So I'm not sure if she does this. I, I just say she because I don't really know who it is. But um, <laughs> it's probably a larger company than just one person. But um, I'm not sure what they do when you don't put in your picks for that month. But I got a bunch of their brand nail polishes. So I have the premium, or no, no, I upgraded um, I sent her an email and I said, oh, I love this so, so, so much. I would like to upgrade my subscription. So she's like, okay, here. Then she showed me how to do it. So then um, I upgraded for that month. But like I said, I lost my things. I, I was kind of sad because I custom created a polish in there. And I don't remember what I did, but I was really excited about getting it. So that idea is probably lost forever, but I'll get over it. Anyways, so since I didn't pick any... She just sent me four of their brand polish. Now, I'm not upset about that, but I think that they should have it listed somewhere on their website that if you forget to put in your, like, for if you forget to customize your box that month, that they will either, like, send you a reminder or something, or that they'll, that there's a default, like, you won't get your polish that month or something. I don't know, something like that. But they, there wasn't anything on the website, at least that I could find, that said that. So I just got these four polishes. And since I'm a nail polish addict, and I really like indie nail polishes right now, like I'm kind of obsessed, um, and I want to build up my indie collection, I was okay with getting these. But just in the future, again, if you're watching, maybe let people know what would happen if they didn't put in their picks for that month. Anyways, let's get on to the colors. Like I said before, a lot of the polishes seem to be very blue toned and that was definitely true with these. So I got four and I think that these are all like brand new from her collection, the newest collection, and they're all really blue based. So 
yeah, that's well, maybe one complaint that I have. The first one I got is Electric Daisy, and this one is probably my favorite of the ones that I got. It has a clear shimmery base, and then it has some, oh god, it's got square glitters, and then, god, what are those, like rhombuses or something? There's a weird shaped glitter in there. They're almost shaped like houses, maybe. And then there's regular hex glitters, and they're all matte, except for the shimmer running through it, but there's like pink and blue and orange and green, and it's really, really, really cool. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It comes off very blue toned and on the swatch you can kind of see it does come off very blue toned. So I'm not sure actually if there is maybe a little bit of blue in the base or something, but it comes off looking very blue from a distance. But it is really, really different and cool and I really want to see what it's like to layer this over different colors. So the next one that I got is this beautiful purple one and this is called Purple Hatters or Purple Haters. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> it's, it's two T's, so I think that's Hatters, right? Yeah. But it's got, it's a, like a, a jelly purple base, and then it has some silver bar glitters, some silver hex glitters, some silver square glitters. I think they're all silver. I think all the glitters are silver, but the base is purple, and it gets a really cool effect. It reminds me of, like, um... I love nail polishes, that, that one called purple stuff, it reminds me of like the opposite of purple stuff because purple stuff is like a clear base with a bunch of purple in it and then this is like a purple base with a bunch of, I mean not clear but silver. It's, it's kind of, I don't know, it gives similar ideas I guess you could say. But it's very beautiful so I like that one. The next one, oh this is another one that may be my favorite, I don't know. I can't decide which one's my favorite. Um, this one is called Sweet Life. And this one is so cool. So it's like my favorite color of blue. Maybe maybe not my favorite color of blue. I don't know. I really like the shade of blue. But it's like kind of turquoise-y. It seems to have like a green shimmery base. Like a blue-green shimmery base. And then there's like circle glitters. But they almost look iridescent or see-through. Then there's star glitters. And then there's holographic square glitters. And then some also, they're like periwinkle maybe periwinkle, hex glitters in there. This is so cool. I really, really, really love this one. This is the kind of creativity and like weirdness that I really want to add to my nail polish collection. And for me personally, I love indie polishes and I want to buy more, but they can be so expensive. It's like eight, ten dollars a bottle plus you're paying for shipping. And then I also get a little bit overwhelmed, like, well, which ones do I pick? Because there's so much out there. And what I really like about this subscription service is like, I, I didn't have to think too much and I can really get a bunch of indie polishes. I can build my indie collection and I can build my mainstream collection at the same time and it's really in a fun way. I don't know, it's fun. And then the last one I got is my least favorite from it. Not saying that it's bad or anything, but it's called Electric Zoo and it is a blue shimmery polish and it looks like there might be some blue like micro glass flecks in it or something. It's really cool. Um, I just don't, I'm not like in love with shimmer polishes lately. I love blue, but I'm just not in love with the this particular polish. So I might pass this along, uh, maybe to my friend Katie. I know that she might really love this. So yeah, I might pass this along, but there's nothing wrong with this polish. It's just not my favorite. And I can't be mad at them because I, I didn't pick my... I didn't pick these this month. So with that being said, I think that it is a really fair price. Some of those other boxes that I have reviewed for you guys, like they have so many problems. Like Julep is way overpriced for like per ounce for what you get. Um, same thing with I tried like the Nailette box. I think that it's too expensive for getting mini nail polishes. The Cult Cosmetics box, you like pretty much only get their brand nail polishes anymore, which I was kind of bored with. And then what else did I try? God, I've tried like everything. I think that of everything that I've tried so far, this is my favorite for nail polish subscriptions. I'm very, very happy with it, but I am a little... Like I said, since I had some of those problems, I'm a little bit... I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's not going to stop me from 
getting this box I think although I will I will be completely honest I did have to skip this month well I technically canceled this month um because I literally did not have the funds to pay for it this month so I don't know I might contact um the company and see if if they want me to continue reviewing it if maybe they can send me the box and then I can review it for them but um as of right now, I can't pay for it, but maybe in the future, this is, I really like it, so in the future, I'd really hope to subscribe again. Um, if you guys are interested in subscribing to this box, like I said, I will have everything linked down below. If you have any questions for me about my experience, please don't hesitate to ask. I will answer all of your comments. Oh, that's another thing I quickly wanted to mention. I am like three weeks behind on answering comments and I'm very 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 sorry um I will get caught up just I don't know life got crazy and I just I, I didn't think that I could get this behind you guys are great you guys are commenting like a ton of comments so it's been kind of hard for me to keep up answering all of them but I will answer all of the ones that I can um if I do not reply to your comment it is because I it like google or yeah google youtube it won't let me reply to your comments so just keep that in mind I know that there's a couple comments that people ask me questions and I can't reply to them I have sent people a couple messages but like I said with it just it just gets really overwhelming and crazy so I'm not able to send everybody a message saying I can't reply to your comment so but yeah anyways that was another really long blabber thing um yeah, I will get back to your questions. I promise, I promise, I promise. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and I hope that I answered all your questions because I know this was kind of confusing. And I gotta be honest, I'm still a little confused myself because it's so new and they're, they're still figuring things out themselves. So um, yeah, I don't blame them though. I Nothing bad enough happened for me to not like the box anymore out of everything i've tried it's by far my favorite so with that being said if you guys are interested i suggest that you check this out subscribe if you want to and let me know how your experience is with this box if you've tried it um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will talk to you soon and i'm sorry that this video was so long all right guys bye um shoot i Meal, can, can you stop, Molly? Just playing with my lights. It was only a couple posts back when they were mentioning their grand opening. Seriously, Molly? Now you need to scratch on card cardboard. Card cardboard. Cardboard. Okay, you're just being a little bitch. Excuse me, sorry. What was I talking about? I don't remember what I was talking about. Wait. Ain't it fun living in the real world? Bow, 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 bow. I feel like I'm off tune. Off tune? Off bitch? Off key? Off key. That's what it is. Don't go crying to your mama Cause you're on your own in the real world I'm like really obsessed with that song lately guys, I'm sorry. Whoa, what happened to the light? It's coming back. Okay. Okay. But um, yeah, I found this uh, website. Or no, I didn't find the website. I don't remember how I found it. I don't remember how I found it. A customized indie nail polish from their brand um, yeah you can get two custom wait the only thing I would say excuse me and yeah what was I gonna say and then it gives you a bunch of options it's shoot sorry sorry's it's my hubs and it'll kind of go through like step by step how do you make your one your custom one how to make your one wow sorry guys I'm a little messed up today um <laughs> no let's not put that in there god Molly just stop it
too far. Sorry, my hubby called. That's the ringtone when my husband calls. Um, you're gonna see pictures, swatches of all of these. So um, I'll just kind of give you a little bit overview here. No. It, excuse me. And I'm not sure if this is true for everybody. Oh, there's a hair on my lip. There we go. To supplement my box. Um, Cause yeah, I don't know, I just, Did I over highlight today? Do I have super shiny cheekbones? <laughs> I don't know. I just really got into my highlight today. I feel like I'm rocking it. Is that a conceited? Maybe. Good enough. Mm -hmm. See you guys later. Bye.